Welcome back. We are here on Etro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 23rd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you want the full access to all um, the commodities analysis for all of the commodities, on eToro, you're welcome to head over to our Patreon channel where you also can really get our signal service. So let's start by looking at the US dollar. And what we have seen this week is that we have a gradual decline in the US dollar. We had a pullback yesterday, which got most commodities to fall. And today they have been rising significantly, all of them, basically all of them, uh, while the US dollar has also been appreciating. So it did depreciate a little bit, ran into uh, support here, as we have done for several, several times now. But now we have started to appreciate again at the end of the U.S. session. And this should be uh, quite a warning sign because these technical indicators are not looking as bearish as they have been. We have tested this area several times before, and it does not break. We have broken it once back in September, basically the beginning of September. But then we rallied again all the way up to uh, 94.71. And then we have had a gradual decline again. So an, uh, the appreciation of the US dollar index is inevitable. Uh, we have already seen it um, starting to increase um, late in this um, Friday session. So Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, I think that we're going to see a gradual grind to the upside towards the 50 moving average. If we break this support level, then of course we'll go all the way down towards uh, the low here at the 91.73. Uh, but I don't think that is going to happen. I don't think we have the necessary momentum in order to break the support area here. So I think we're going to see more of the same. And we'll rally up towards this, uh, this, uh, this 50 moving average, probably break it. And that will also mean that we'll see most of the commodities that have been rallying uh, this week completely unnecessarily. They will start to fall. We'll also see stocks, uh, precious metals, and so on will also start to fall in next week's session. So keep that in mind. So we'll start by looking at oil. Oil has rallied. We uh, basically two weeks ago, but last week, when we got this. Uh, Annunciation of the of the uh, news about the um, uh, coronavirus vaccine, we just basically took off to the upside. We rallied all the way up to uh, thirty three point twenty four, then broke down again towards the fifty. Then okay, of course we got the additional news about vaccines, and that has been keeping this money uh, market afloat. And then there has been the new, the speculation about stimulus. There has been speculation about OPEC and so on. But to be fairly honest, it's fantastic we have a, a vaccine that is coming. I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to the end of this crisis. Um, but all of those things don't add to demand. And demand is basically what is going to drive this market. If people don't use oil, then there's no reason for the price to increase if you don't have major cuts in, in, in supply. And we don't have major cuts in supply. That is not something that is um, expected at this point. We don't. Uh, we are not expecting a major war in the Middle East or anything. So, I do believe that this market is going to turn around. We we did not rally past these previous highs here. We rallied all the way up here, and that is not even close to the previous highs up here or these highs or anything. So, I think that we could get a little bit higher, but then uh, turn around towards the fifty. And if the 50 breaks, then we'll head all the way down towards the 20, 200 moving average. And I think that is as far as we'll go uh, uh, the next one or two weeks, or probably three weeks. Uh, I don't think that we'll go lower than 200. Uh, then there's something very strange should, should happen in the market. But that is all the way down to uh, 60, $36 uh, for barrel. So, so I don't think this rally will continue. There's no reason for this to continue. Even though we get a stimulus, we got three, four stimulus in this area here. Nothing really happened. Why should anything happen now? So this was pure speculation. 
And I think that we are going to pay the price next week because this is going to turn around to the upside. Downside. If this breaks, of course, then we'll target these highs. And if these highs break, then we'll go to 35 and also to 50. But we need a lot of really, really good news. And I don't think that we're going to get that any better than a vaccine. So you look at copper. Copper has also rallied significantly today. We reached all the way to 3.2, 3 uh, no, 3.3 3 nearly. And uh, at this point, we are overbought. We are overstretched. Um, there's no reason for it for this major rally here. It's not like, like the world economy is doing better now than it did prior to the coronavirus, which is uh, here, around this area. This doesn't make any sense. We are touching the very highs of all the way back to uh, 2018, all the way back here. We can do like this. Then the reason why we basically found uh, support, resistant, I mean, in this area is because we ran into uh, previous highs over here. If that breaks, we'll, well, that is to be seen. Um, we have been rallying now for longer. A uh, very, very long time, all the way since um, in the in the mid of um, March, we have been rallying to these highs from a low of 1.9 to the highest of 3.3. That is a fantastic move uh, for, for copper. But at this point, I think that we are going to see something similar to this. We'll have a pullback towards the 50 moving average before we go higher. We have reached some very highs, and I don't think that we go higher than that. So... No interest in basically buying this. I am a seller of copper at this point. I am selling it all the way down towards the 50 moving average. So if you look at gold, put it here. We can see that we rallied a little bit today and then gave most of those rally, those gains back. Um, next week, I do believe that the US dollar index is going to appreciate and that will pressure gold even further down. So if 850 breaks, that opens the door to 1800. So we could see 1800 next week. That is a real uh, problem, uh, a possibility that we'll see 1800 next week. And that is going, we're going to basically you know, test this area here where we basically took up to the, uh, to the highs. And we haven't tested this area since. Uh, and that would also coincide with the 200 moving average moving this way. Technical indicators for gold are fairly mixed at this point. The CCI is fairly bullish, but all of the indicators, uh, other indicators are flat. So we also have been trading very sideways for a very long time. Not a lot of action except for this move. And every time we try to rally above the 50, we basically break down. We can see it here, here, and also this move here. So a move towards the 1800 level, that would make sense. Um, I do not favor the upside at this point. I think that we need to go lower before we go significantly higher. And we are going to go significantly higher in the long run with gold. So if you look at uh, Kakoa, which has been an amazing, has done an amazing move this week. So probably the reason for this is the holiday season. That is... Part of the reason why we have rallies this significant amount. We have had major uh, uh, cuts in, in the supply of cocoa uh, when the price fell here in order to get the price back up. I think the, product, uh, uh, the, uh, the cuts were here and we rallied all the way up here and so on. But now we have the holiday season. And um, at this point, I think we are going to turn around. We are or bought. We, we uh, broke the very highs here which I did not expect to happen. But if we rally underneath these highs, then that could mean that we go significantly lower. My guess is that we move all the way back towards the 50 moving average. If we take the Fibonacci retracements down here to the very highs there, we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is at 2.5. The second here at 50 is 2.489. And that would also coincide with a 50 moving average moving up this way. And then you would hit both at the same time. This rally can't continue. This is a very parabolical move. And if you look at the technical indicators, 
Stochastic is turning around. CCI is definitely turning around. And so is the, is the, is the RSI. MACD is not turning around yet, but usually these move faster than the MACD. But beware, this is not an area where you should buy. You will get stuck here because this will most likely fall quite aggressively uh, the next uh, the next um, you know, one to three uh, trading sessions. So this is a market that I am tending on shorting next week. So hope you find the video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.